Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of July, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box below or you can email me with your questions. And if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Scorpio, it seems that through the month of July, you might be in the pursuit of healing, of making some sort of peace, coming to terms with a difficult situation you have uh, experienced in your recent past where there might have been something unfair uh, happening here to you. You might have felt like wronged at a certain level, there might have been this questioning around your dignity or your morals, your reputation, your conduct as a person might have been questioned somehow. And this really uh, carried an impact in your soul that you're trying to sort out and reflect upon throughout the month of July, how to, how to overcome or how to make peace yourself with, uh, you know, the outside, um, the outside judgments that are being made upon you, because I feel like some of you Scorpios might have been through an experience where you have been severely judged, and maybe you haven't had the opportunity or the capacity to stand up for yourself to prove others uh, wrong. There's something here about you not being able to come to the front and fight for your rights or fight for something that now you're realizing you should have or that maybe you missed an opportunity or the right time to do it and now, you know, time has passed by and you're left with this question of, uh, could I, could, I, could I have done something to change the outcome? Could I have done something to prevent whatever happened that is bothering you? Because many of you Scorpios show up here as being bothered by something. And this is the focal point of the month of, um, of July is finding in you peace. Even if you can't find it in the outside, even if you can't prove something that some of you are here trying to prove is making peace peace with how things are things outside of your control that you still have to deal with as you do have here the justice and the temperance so there's a lot of um consideration also here in terms of the theme of balance and needing to find here a balanced approach to situations where you don't fall to extremes, where you're not rash, impulsive, but also, again, you're not extremely complacent with things you shouldn't be. So you're trying to find the right approach to something. Some of you are in your own selves. Um, it's like you're in your own selves a lot because you're about to make an important decision here. You're about to make something big that feels like a big step for you but it's like you're keeping it a lot to yourself. Like there's a lot of considerations that for the time being are more, you know, you're more quiet about or more reserved before you really expose whatever it is that you're trying um, next. Because I feel like the next months you're gonna be able to <laughs> move away or walk away from circumstances that have felt either abusive, toxic, you know, um, unbalanced because you're in the search of this balance and you're searching this uh, harmony um, you know with with life with people so all areas that are not providing to you this this equilibrium um, you're really pondering about this I feel like there's also a lot of evaluation that you're making a lot of uh, weighing upon options a lot of consideration upon um, you know, pros and cons of situations. And this might take up until the whole month to get you to a conclusion that seems right. You want clarity. Many of you Scorpios are after clarity and you're after answers and you're digging deep 
um, for them. And you're also um, trying to find in you this ability to remain still, to remain um, quiet when something in you evokes this um, desire to just, you know, do something before it's the right time or the or before you are in the appropriate space, being the appropriate space of mind or the appropriate um, situation itself, environment itself. So this is about waiting for um, the appropriate time to do something. It's being a little bit strategic here in the moves you make to get you to the best possible outcomes. You want to, many of you Scorpios that this decision weighs upon you and um, where this decision is going to have an impact in others' lives, I feel like you don't want to be um, throwing caution, caution to the wind, right? So you don't want to be responsible also when it comes to others. You don't want to be uh, blamed for anybody else's unhappiness, but you don't, you also don't want to be, uh, you know, sacrificing anything um, that you consider to be important for your own happiness and for your own well-being. So you see there's a lot of division here upon what's fair to you, what's right to you versus what's for others. You are in a standstill here during the month of July. Unconsciously, you are after happiness, all right? You want to celebrate, you want to be free, you want to be carefree, actually. You want to be less um, focused on the difficulties and the struggles or the uncomfortable situations that leave you feeling like you're in a tight, leaving you feeling like you're in a tight space. And there are situations that evoke this tension or evoke this anxiety in you exactly to push you to the understanding that a certain uh, decision needs to be made. You need to make up uh, here, you need to make up your mind about something you have been avoiding or that you have been trying not to look at something that you need to actively do something about. Now, for others with the Three of Cups in the unconscious, you're also drawing in important connections. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you, you can have here several options um, coming up when it comes to your social life, when it comes to your romantic life, there's an openness um, <clears throat> that could be that could be experienced unexpectedly. But I also feel like as you are entering into a phase where there's beautiful options at your reach, you feel like you're not ready to trust here. Uh, this this favorable um, experience of relating. It's like um, you like it, you enjoy uh, the looks of it, but then when it comes to actually trusting uh, yourself to engage in it, to give of yourself to others, to give emotionally to someone, there's a little bit of, um, of a tension that arises, either because there's other things here in life that, again, prevent you from fully being available, to just be in this energy where you're, you know, interacting with people uh, without thinking about the consequences or thinking about other things that you're concerned about, or just because you have this baggage, you have this 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 trust issues that you're still healing from. As I said, there are uh, many of you that you're overcoming something where you have felt really wrong. So for some of you, this could have been a betrayal of sorts that left you in this space where you don't, you don't trust easily when it comes to, to other people's intentions towards you. So there's a lot to sort out when it comes to that dynamic. For some of you Scorpios, here with the Nine of Wands as the outcome and as you move into August, you're going to be standing up uh, for something, all right? You're not ready to fully give it up. There's something here that you're not fully ready to give it up, uh, you know, to completely throw the towel. There's something that you're still trying to 
uh, hold on to because you feel like it's uh, something you need to preserve or protect. So for those of you that are called to give something away in order to get something else, it could still be a little bit complicated for you to do it during the month of July. There's an attachment to something that you could be asked to give away that is um, the reason why certain experiences can be more difficult to to digest because it's like you don't want to lose any you don't want to lose anything you want everything under this control so when you're asked to give something away there's a resistance that arises even though with the justice arcana here again weigh 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 it out balance because maybe there's something that you can give away or that you should give away that you're not giving away that can then you know restore that peace that you're after uh, and I feel like there there are some Scorpios here that is just your ego is really wrapped around the situation all right because you feel like it's again it's not fair for you to give something away for some of you this is to give something that you feel is yours away so it could be resources property money assets um especially for scorpios that are divorcing here and you know you're in a complicated agreement here um scorpios that this might have to deal with custody battles There's, there are scorpios here that you know, you're in a process of separating or divorcing, that it's a little bit tricky, but it's like you might realize or there might be this indication that you might be making it harder yourself by not just giving something away. It's like weighing also, you know, if those things you're, you're, you're holding on so tightly to, if they're more valuable than your own peace, than your own, you know, freedom as well it's like do you want your freedom or do you want um everything that you consider to be your own to have uh in short because there might be a little bit of a of an energy here that asks you to consider that maybe by giving something away that maybe by walking away from something you actually get much more than what you're perceiving you can get out of the situation so i hope you have a great month i want to thank all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon